I thought we played decent first half and pretty poorly second half. And oh, you know, it was obviously frustrating, but um, you know, just you know, players got to realise the importance of it to everybody. You know, to ourselves, the supporters. Everybody wants us to win. Everybody cares about it. And you know, some of the stuff in the second half just wasn't good enough. And um, you know, we, we we didn't get the tempo that we wanted. I thought we played some really good stuff first half. And, and should have scored a couple of, taken a couple of chances, didn't. And then, you know, to be fair, they they stifled us and and they finished strongly, and that's disappointing for me. What frustrated you most throughout the second half? The lack of tempo to the game, the lack of too many square passes, too many back passes, um, and just when the ball was in the box, not getting the bodies in there to to score the goal that we needed. They set themselves up to make it difficult. Of course they did, and, they, and they, listen, they were always going. Um, you know, they, they had a, got a number of injuries, but they came here to frustrate and, and, and to be, you know, give them credit. They did that. You know, the lad in front of the back four, the centre half in front of the back four, Rocky did ever so well. Edited everything. You know, first half we didn't really see him. Second half, when we were just not playing at our best, anywhere near our best, he edited everything, mopped up, and, and started springing them into little attacks and. Scott has made a good save from from the right back. We've had a goal disallowed that it does look offside on the on the DVD. Um, they were they were better than our second half. I, I, I'm, I, you know, I'll tell as it is. You know, we, we weren't good enough second half. I thought we should have gone in, into the lead. Um, but, but second half, no matter what we did, we changed it. Tried to get Jermaine's pace on. Tried to get Byron up there, Zach, and open the game up. We just couldn't get ahead of steam to. To get the goal that we, or to get enough chances to get the goal we wanted. Scott, a frustrating night for the team, but I guess for you personally, the satisfaction of a second successive clean sheet. Yeah, it's always nice to, to keep a clean sheet, but um, it's disappointing that we, we didn't go on and win the game. Uh, the, I thought they, they set up really well and made it difficult for us to break them down and, and came into it a little bit more second half as, as we pushed for the winner. Uh, but for the first 10 minutes, we, we were really on top, and, and had we gone in 1 0 up then, then it, it They'd have had to have come out, and, uh, and when, when you have these spells in, in this league, you have, well, in any league, you have to you have to score. And unfortunately, when we had that 10-15 minute spell at the start, we, we just couldn't we couldn't get one in. You do seem to have stifled the goals against you, but it seems to have been at the expense of goals going in at the other end. Yeah, touch, touch wood, we've been solid the last two, three games. Um, but like I said, we, we just got to get the right balance between going forward and, and keeping it tight at the back. And I'm sure um, goals have dried up a little bit for the for the front lads, but I'm sure Saturday, come Saturday they'll be ready to go again and uh, for a tough game at Southend. It's a natural balance that says, as you tighten up, you are likely to perhaps sacrifice something going forward. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if, if we all knew the perfect formation, then we'd all be managing Real Madrid or even they could score six and concede five. So uh, if, we, if we, were, we knew the perfect formation, then everyone would be playing it every week. But uh, it's about finding the right balance and I'm sure we, we're just around the corner.